that's what was on there. Like they, they gave me a whole list that I had to sign that I understand the rules. And and the rules are, if if you act up, it can it can uh, it can have an, a negative effect on your cellmates. And you can only bathe every three days. Yeah. I'm like, oh. I'm like, what if you're on your period? Yeah. That is unsanitary. That's nasty. That is. I didn't know that they had restrictions on the amount of times that you could bathe in in jails. Um, it sounds kind of cruel and unusual to me. Well, it's certainly disgusting. Um, especially when you're in protest scenarios where you've been snatched to the ground, had your face thrown on God knows what, um, been scratched up to where the point to like where your skin is torn and bleeding. Like you have to clean yourself. Like last night, Chad had several injuries. Yeah. They wouldn't well. treat him. Um, he was bleeding, needed to go to the hospital. They did not give him any medical attention. Well, I do know, I can tell you one thing about St. Anne is that their blankets smell really good. Like, they're, <laughs> they're, I'm serious, right when you walk in, the first thing you see is their laundry and it's going. They have like their washing machine and dryer is going. So all their, all their stuff was pretty clean. Like, I mean, it was, it wasn't like Ferguson. I've heard people tell me that the inside of Ferguson was always real nasty and dirty. It, it was, it was clean, like, kudos St. Anne. Kudos to St. Anne. Yeah, so it I'm wasn't glad. the most horrible jail experience, at least in the world. No, I, the St. Anne part was fine. They were real nice, courteous, polite. I wish I knew the, one of the uh, police officers' name was uh, Roland. One of the female was, her last name was Roland. And the other woman, her, her last name was so long, I couldn't catch it. Um, but she was so sweet and nice and calm and treated us with respect. Um, so I have no, I have no complaints about the St. Anne part. So basically, it was just like the, not just the Ferguson Police Department because there was support from several different municipalities uh, last night. But the treatment here was far worse than like when you were transferred to the St. Anne jail. Yeah, they were just more polite over there. Okay. So did they? Uh, when the with the zip ties like were they on super tight or whatever like they were uncomfortable but i okay. mean i imagine that's the way they're supposed to be right i think some people may have had theirs on tighter than others mm -hmm. and then anna she got to have hers in front okay because uh, i know diamond they cuffed her behind, like her backpack was yes. in between yeah, yeah and I it was think, like mm -hmm. pulling her arm back and her things yeah, were so tight her, her shoulders hurt really badly you know like her shoulder she should go to the doctor like needs that documented for sure yeah her shoulders were pretty bad off yeah well damn i'm definitely happy that uh everybody got out yeah, so what's too. up with the summons like you have a summons i have a summons okay so what was that um is, is it a charge listed on it or is like your what was your charge they said um failure to disperse and resisting arrest you re I I did not resist. I, I hope somebody has that on film because all I did was step back when the other protester released my arm, I stepped back and then that lieutenant grabbed my wrist and then I started walking with them and, and uh, that's what he said, well, you were uh, resisting arrest. I'm like, no, I wasn't. Yeah. Um, what did your sign say last night? It was uh, something about... It said, uh, white, uh, white America, we white must acknowledge that this is. problem exists. Right, right, right. Okay, so hey, um, everybody that was watching my film last night, um, if you could, uh, or if you do remember, like, the timestamp of when she got arrested and can, like, DM that or uh, message me with that, I can highlight it and maybe provide it for the uh, Department of Justice well, I or know, the bail people. I know that... Um, Mustafa got a little bit of it. Okay. But uh, and he was far, he was far away, so you can't really see me. I don't think. Okay. And because I didn't resist and I just walked with them, it wasn't very. I mean, dramatic, I have footage. You know? No, no, no. I have footage of them taking you away. You um, but I'm talking about like the initial um, confrontation. You know, when the police well, came at me. <clears throat> yeah. You know, like when they first grabbed you yeah, is what I would said like to find. That because I stepped back that that was resisting arrest because you stepped back i was stepping back to get on the sidewalk uh so one of my viewers one minute ago said we have a whole thing on film nice. so well then they can see it so i don't know are you on twitter no i don't have a cell phone okay well um everything i do is online but i'm bella aco b-e-l-l-a let me write it down okay because i go um i in the mornings, I'll get on Twitter and look up. Like, I always look up Alexis. Mm -hmm. I look up her Twitter. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so, like, it's my Twitter. I have a Ustream. I have Facebook. I have all those things. And um, I, everything that I do, uh, whether it's, like, pictures or um, articles or, or videos, um, I post them to all of those outlets. Where do I go? Um, it's uh, B-E-L-L-A. And uh, E-I-K-O, but it's all one word. Hi, how's it going? And so the videos can be found on both YouTube and Ustream. Okay. Um, but, like, I'll have to go highlight the, the portion of the video from okay. last. I'll have to go through that, which probably won't happen till I go home. Oh, that's so. fine. I have to go to work after this anyway. Okay. And I'll probably go, because I'm working on about three hours of sleep, and I'm not used to that. <laughs> I don't know other people are, but I'm not. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, so at least, I mean, so it's there um, for everybody, <laughs> but it's there. So your name's Bella? Yeah. My name's Mitch. Hi, Mitch, nice to meet you. Okay, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I took a picture with somebody uh, last night, RFT. Uh, so I'm kind of so trying to put together an article about, you said you're a freelance journalist, but the ACLU is like... Oh, I was legitimized as a, as a freelance journalist by the ACLU right. because... Um, during the Occupy protest, there was a lot of arguments about um, if I didn't have print, if I was effectively a journalist or a legitimate journalist or not. Right. Um, and so, like, I have documents from the uh, San Francisco chapter of the ACLU that do legitimize me as a freelance journalist um, to, like, alleviate any confusion regarding that because I do have the right to document. Right. And I shouldn't be, like, you know... <laughs> intimidated out of that right right no I understand yeah. uh, but what I was saying is I'm trying to put together an article of like uh, freelance or citizen journalists you know people who are out here documenting it mm. not uh, backed by like a, an organization it's just them out here mm. so I'm wondering if maybe like if I could interview you about that oh, sure what am I uh, I can't do I don't have another interview to get to in a second I'll be here you'll be here I don't, I don't have any plans to leave it's your number I mean, you call he, um so calling me won't be a good thing but i can give you my email okay yeah that's right. um it's a b-e-l-l-a e-i-k-o m-e-d-i-a at me.com yeah i just don't want to break the feed if i'm streaming and so yeah cool yeah so uh i'll shoot you an email tonight or tomorrow and maybe we can say something up Okay. Great. All right. Maybe put your name in the uh, organization in the subject line so I don't skip over it. Gotcha. Cool. Thank you. Okay, B. There, I'm being attacked by B. Uh. Yeah. Well, we got an interview, you guys. So they're saying that your charges were supposed to be dropped. Wasn't that a part of the negotiations? Is that like you guys were going to get summonses, but then the summons were going to be thrown out? The, well, the, the people who came and got me, the um, uh, United A African People's Association, mm -hmm. I think that's what they were called, mm -hmm. um, super nice. They're so good. And they said, don't worry about anything. They said, we will be there on your court date. Yeah, I mean, because we did get video, a lot of video footage of there being talk about the summonses being thrown out, which effectively meant that was a hostage situation and, like, they didn't actually arrest people for any crime. You know what I mean? It was like, we'll release them if everybody else goes home. And it's like, well, how that, how, when then, those two are not determinative. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if she didn't commit a crime, then why is she going to jail? You're just holding her hostage, so I'll shut up. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, and well, and I don't even understand why I got arrested. I, I mean, shouldn't that just be a ticket? Yeah, they could have given you a ticket. They, but I they mean, couldn't give me a ticket. I wasn't I mean, they, violent. They could have done resisting. that, but they could have just given me a ticket. Yeah. So I don't understand what that was about. I wouldn't. I just said all this. I don't understand. Most yeah, they want to pump fear into people that they're going to be arrested. You know what I mean? And so, so they'll go home and stop coming out. Right. Well, and. How can I not come out? I mean, I live here. I have to come out. Right. So, I just hope they come through with an indictment, and, and I and I'm hoping that I, I feel I hope that when, if that happens, I'll feel comfortable to stop protesting because it's it's hard work. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Especially in this humidity, y'all. I'm like, y'all got it going on. Here, this is what happened. That's the homie right there. I love him. <laughs> All right, guys. So basically, it's a small group. Um, 
holding down space, making sure that um, no matter what, people see that, you know, this is not something that's going to be swept underneath the rug. So small and mighty is what's going on right now. Um, but they're definitely, they have a lot of support. There are going to be people here later. There are definitely going to be um, some meetups because everybody who got released last night didn't come straight back because they had their own personal rides. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut down the stream. Um, if I have any other interviews or anything come on, I will post them um, on live, online and I will do my best to do them live. So that if you have any questions, you can also participate in the interview. Um, we Right now, we're looking at the Ferguson um, Police Department jail. It's under construction. And it's right next door to the uh, fire department. Hello. And people are still driving by, honking in support. Some people are Darren Wilson supporters and driving by and uh, cursing out the protesters and flipping them out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But... Um, their spirits are not broken so i love y'all but i'm gonna go ahead and shut down so i can you know save battery and data and, and everything else for a little while um and i'm gonna find me some water because it's hot as hell out here